Travel camp. Here we go. Affordable housing, specifically the lack of rent geared to income, is the most profound issue facing people with disabilities in the greater Toronto area in terms of cost and waiting lists. And lately, one of the most criticized, especially in light of the hundreds of new units under construction for the Pan Am and Parapan Games next year. Here's the question. What steps would you take to speed up the waiting lists and create more affordable, safe, quality housing? I've worked hard to create affordable housing uh, in the 90s before uh, Mike Harris tragically, and both the federal and then the provincial government tragically canceled the national housing program. And then it was then downloaded to the city of Toronto. But we've had some success. TCHC, which is community housing, um, have um, created a few uh, affordable units on Dan Leckie Way and in the Pan Am area. Um, in my time, we created quite a few co-ops like uh, Windward over at 34 Little Norway or in the St. Lawrence neighborhood. Uh, those are totally doable. We need to do a lot more. And um, we need to engage the provincial and the federal government again to say that, look, we can build more housing. And that's uh, my commitment and my track record. David Sochnacki. I'd like to begin the discussion and talk about, the, first of all, the private market. And uh, what I did as budget chair is to actually lower taxes, that's right, lower taxes on multiple unit residential um, buildings. It's a program that's going to expire in a couple of years and something that I believe is very important. I'll make sure that the council continues that uh, when I'm mayor. I also want to make sure that we incentivize and continue on uh, the building of building of um, uh, private uh, private um, units in homes to make sure that our, our residential uh, subsidy programs include that. And I want to also work on this on the subsidized on the, on the TCHC side to make sure that we decentralize some of the decision making to allow decision making to be flexible to allow people to to move into those homes faster. We also need to make sure that the standards that are so rigorously enforced are in fact enforced to make sure that people move into those homes and, and fill in the, um, the rental units faster. Thank you, David. Karen Stitz. What we need to do is continue to fix Toronto Community Housing Corporation. We've had too many scandal, we've had too much scandal after scandal after scandal. And nothing undermines the public confidence more than ongoing scandal at TCHC. If we are going to invest in TCHC, we need to make sure that that corporation is operating with the confidence of the public, and it does not have my confidence right now. We have a new board, we have a new CEO, and they're taking the right steps. But we need to ensure that every single public dollar that we put into TCHC is spent for the people who live in those apartments, in those houses, in those units. Because right now, Toronto is the worst landlord. Toronto Community Housing is the worst landlord in the city, and that has to change. Thank you, Karen Stins. John Tory. Well, three things I think have to be done. First, we've got to get the federal and provincial governments back into this, uh, this area. Uh, we can't do what we need to do without, and I think one of the questions people are gonna have to focus on as they get towards election day is who do they think is gonna be best able to work with those governments to convince them they should come back in in a significant way to the housing deal. Secondly, that money, uh, which I believe we can get for this city, has to be used to increase supply and to renew, frankly, many more than the three priority neighborhoods that are being renewed at the present time in what are something else I believe in, which is private-public partnerships to get that done. We need the ingenuity and the financing and other uh, ideas of the private sector with a public commitment to make sure that happens. Uh, thirdly, uh, we have to uh, make sure that includes some assisted housing. That's what I call it, the housing that takes care, takes account of special needs. Even Toronto Community Housing itself, I think I'm right on these numbers, upgraded to, to make more accessible 25 units out of 50 some odd thousand last year. 25 only. And so I think we have to do better than that. But I think it starts with getting the federal and provincial governments back into housing. Thank you, Mr. Tory.